Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. I'm Inga. This reading is for Libra for the week of February 11th to the 18th. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising. Happy Valentine's Day. And do not forget on February 15th, I believe we have a partial solar eclipse at 27 degrees. Aquarius. This will be a big week for combination and for endings, but also for new starts and new beginnings. Try not to take the easy way out. If you need to have a confrontation, Libra, please take the opportunity to speak your truth. We have the Queen of Swords. Please take the opportunity to speak your truth, Libra, this week. We have the nine, uh, the Ace of Swords. Please take the opportunity to speak your truth this week. You must speak out, Libra, about any inconsistencies, any unfairness in a relationship, a partnership, or a bond. You will do yourself a huge disservice if you do not speak up and out. Please try to avoid keep the, keeping the peace this week of February 11th through the 18th. It will only improve the relationship. It will only improve the quality of the relationship if you are forward about your concerns. But also not necessarily negative things. It can also be a situation where you are not vocalizing your happiness. You are not vocalizing your contentment. You're, you're almost taking it for granted. And this can also be with the Libra, someone doing this to the Libra. It's a Ten of Cups. And we have the Seven of Cups. This feels like confusion if you should actually act act upon something. Let's see where else this is going. We have the Eight of Swords. A lot of air energy, guys. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. So something, some issue is coming to a head. The Libra has tried several ways, several times to fix something. To fix something, but they had the, but it hasn't been wholly successful. The success doesn't hold, doesn't keep, it doesn't stay. You keep reverting back or sliding back into the same issues, the same problems. You think you've made progress, but it's minimal progress. It's not enough. It hasn't been enough. It's not enough. And you keep trying to come up with ways to fix whatever this is, but it's not, it's not holding. It's not sticking. This is the major arcana, the hangman. So the Leo, the Libra, excuse me, this is for Libra, sun, moon, and rising. This correction, it is for Libra, is feeling... Like they're ready to give up. This is the Eight of Cups. Like they're ready to give up. Things were not as good as they had been in the past. This is relationship. The Libra has done everything they can to repair the situation without minimal. It seems like the other person is not putting in the same level of work. They're not fighting for the relationship in the same way that the Libra has been fighting. And now the Libra is ready they're ready. They're ready. That's what I have. The Libra is ready. The Libra is ready. We have the Knight of Wands. The Libra is ready to make their move. But Libra, please speak up about, even if you plan to make an exit, don't just disappear. And don't stay silent. Don't just disappear. Don't stay silent. If you don't, if, even if you plan to make an exit, make a run for it, uh, and give in, give up, still say on your way out the door why you are making an exit stage left. Don't leave it to confusion. Don't leave it up in the air for the other person. Give the other person closure, even if they do not necessarily deserve it. This feels like silent treatment. This feels like the silent treatment. Don't do the silent treatment. And I'm not trying to judge or tell anybody what to do. I just have to tell you the messages that are coming through.
you've made it up in your own mind what you plan to do, but you know, and don't make it about revenge. Like you've waited for this moment where you have made that break, where you finally have broken these psychological, emotional bonds, and now you are in a position to break free and move out with little emotional damage and how it's, it almost feels like a type of revenge because you know that you're ready to walk away and you don't ne really necessarily care what the other person thinks or feels. This is the card of sadness. So you've already dealt with all of this, you know, you've already emotionally processed everything and there can be this act now where the Libra is like okay I heard I was hurt and now you will be hurt you've already stilled yourself to this this is very similar energy to the hangman you've already stilled yourself to the fate of this partnership perhaps coming to a closure If the partnership is not ending, and this is for a love relationship, which has uh, is which is generally okay, there might be some hurt feelings, but not anything major, believe it or not. In contrast to the first part of the reading, uh, but I feel like a lot of things are swept under the carpet to keep the peace. If you are staying in the relationship, this is incompatibility. So again, a lot of things are swept under the carpet because you do have really great times and you're trying to let the great times that you have carry the relationship, even though at the root of everything, you know that you're probably not that compatible with the person. Eros, I think you guys got this last time. This is incredible. I'm almost sure that Libra had this last time. So things can be so wonderful, so exciting especially on the intimate level when things are really really bad they're really bad when things are really really good they're really good but deep down inside you know it just does not work you know that in the long term it cannot work so it feels like the libra has done everything they can and now they're getting out so let's finish this up guys this is a farewell card this is the same energy so it's just a lot of confirmation here the Libra has figured out that they're walking away or the Libra is walking away in defiance. They have, they're ready to speak their truth, even if they're going. They might be a bit been revengeful or vengeful about how they're going to break this off, but they're ready to get out. They're coming out. They're not staying, again, similar energy to the hangman. He can walk out at any time, but at some point that door may lock and he really may be stuck there. The, the Libra realizes this and they're not ready to stay stuck anymore where they've been. They want something more. They want a more balanced, committed partnership that they can see through to the long term. They want something that will grow. They want something that will evolve and they are going to make it happen. This is the actor. They're, they're going out. They're, they're, they're letting it go. They're letting anything from the past so if this is work, this feels like playing the game. Just playing the game, even though there might be a lot of dissatisfaction at work, the Libra will stay quiet and keep the peace to advance. So that's what I have for Libra in the week of February 11th through the 18th. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for joining me. Bye. Sorry, Libra, I forgot to pull your good tarot card, so I have to tack these on at the end. Sorry about that. I would like to see, because I'm pulling this for everybody, what the final advice is for you. I have quite a few. We have the four of wands, which we already had in the previous re uh, reading. This is looking for stability. This is you not wanting to sacrifice um, your plans, your idea about how a relationship should run, it should be balanced, it should be fair. So this is a reinforcement of what we already saw in the Four of Wands, that you want stability. We have Major Arcana Patience. You have already been extremely patient, you know that, and you haven't necessarily had this level of understanding and patience return to you. This is the Two of Pentacles, again, return to you. This feels like a cyclical aspect. What you're giving, you're not getting. 
We have the Three of Wands. This is you moving forward. You want a change. You want a change in your relationship and how things have gone so far. This is the Nine of Wands. This is a card about reassessing uh, what your options are. And this is similar to the energy also of the Seven of Cups, which you had in the reading. Reassessing what's happened. And we have the Ten of Wands and moving forward to let it go. This, in contrast to the Ten of Wands in the Rider Waite, this is the Ten of Wands of burning off the burden. The Libra is burning off the burden especially in love relationships. So that's what I have for Libra for the week of February 11th through the 18th. Thank you. Bye-bye.